largest brokerage with 60,000 employees had been battered by nearly 50 billion dollars in mortgage. Now, it's finally finished. I'm ready to send you the world's first payment of Bitcoin. We're about to make history's first peer-to-peer -peer cashless transaction without a trusted third party. Are you as nervous as I am? I press send, and Bitcoin becomes the existentialist threat to every government and bank on Earth. And my life will be forever changed. If they find out who I am, they'll destroy me, my reputation, and my family. But I know it's worth the risk. Think of the human progress we'll make. The time has come to set the world free. The Cyber Miniera project aims to create the material condition for transforming energy in freely expandable and transferable cryptocurrencies. The heart of this process is made up of a series of working prototypes. Only with experimental data we can develop dynamic solutions that shape innovation. Making it a shareable product of the original segment of a new market. To make technology widespread and popular, it must be easy and intuitive, domestic or industrial, it must produce a new wealth, transferable, easy to use and symbol as legal tender. This is a new machine and much more than it. The Cyber Miniera project is not aimed at producing and selling new hardware for the extraction of crypto coins, but is a disruptive time market action. With the invention of the blockchain, your trust is now in math, the laws that underpin the universe. Blockchain is basically a tool to rid the world of a lot of corruption and unfair advantage. And a lot of people are starting to realize that that's what this is, and they're starting to squawk about it right now. The instrumental market of the sub-mining is oriented towards providing advanced components to be engineered and assembled or offers complete specialized professional machines that exploit their computing power in a very rigid way. The killer idea is to transform and make sub-mining popular through the creation of real simplified cybernetic mine where it is possible to connect the K-factor with a logic of plug and play. We're going through one of the greatest transformations in the history of the world. Hang on for the ride, this is gonna be awesome. This is bigger than the internet. In my mind, this is bigger than the internet. We are now entering a further and radical evolution of how we interact and trade. It took time before the finance and technology sectors saw cryptocurrency and blockchain as potentially disruptive. The disruptive project of popular technologies wants to propose an advanced sub-mining to a new market segment 
which make it possible to apply it from the domestic to the industrial dimension. To sub mine of popular technologies, it should be easy as your fridge at home. The cybernetic miner earns his profit only by solving mathematical problems in the form of complex algorithms. To produce add value, it therefore needs powerful and fast computing capacity. Its mine is mainly based on the availability of and continuous access to advanced information technology. Popular and widespread management is possible only by creating an integrated machine that is easy and intuitive. Popular mining, it must be so. Here are the eight characteristics of a new cyber mine. Intuitive. Each popular technology must be simple and intuitive to use based on shared standards. Amateur or professional, domestic or industrial, your practice must be immediate and accessible. Plug and play. Size. Popped Vanguard is a competitive cyber machine for performance and flexibility. It works like a mini installation. This is our simple strategy to reduce the risk created by unstable markets. The small size allows to better manage the production variables with programmed modes. We're in this transition from the old world of centralized power based on fossil fuels with high emissions to a future world of clean distributed power. And the question is, how do we get there? A microgrid. And my definition of microgrid is really simple. It's any system that can stand on its own. There has to be something there that's balancing the amount of energy you have and the amount of energy that people are trying to consume. What we can do is take control algorithms and push them out into the blockchain. Basically it becomes plug and play, and as someone wants to join the microgrid, all they need is one of these little hardware nodes and they're good to go. Flexibility. The working program can be modified by a simple click to set the optimal link between the production factors. By the program at the modes management, it's possible to manage the output of the sub-mining process. Remote control by the smartphone makes everything easier and immediate. Multitask. We can work and produce at once by both the CPU and GPUs and switching the portfolio of my cryptocurrencies, pushing one step beyond the capability to get add value. Knowing how to do many things means a being able to solve a greater number of situations and technical problems. High tech. All the hardware components of ours have been selected to express performance and advanced technological solutions among the best available on the International Cyberspare Parts Market. Long life. One of the most important characteristics to define the real profitability of the cyber mine is its working endurance times the possibility to work in controlled conditions significantly increase the resistance to decay. Power Cyber power is needed to develop all the speed and computing capacity to mine new crypto coins. The power of the components, their operational compatibility and the performance of the software and operating system guarantee a competitive profit. Profitable. Mining is an unstable and complex activity that requires management of costs and a reliable projection of profits. Being able to change the cryptocurrencies produced according to their quotation at any time avoids discontinuous yields or reduced margins due to the variation in system condition.
So K Factor Manager is very important. The profitability of mining therefore depends on the relationship between a series of certain factors, capital, energy, cyber technology and market. peer-to-peer -peer energy grid where all of the elements were interconnected and you'd have resiliency and the next hurricane that blows through part of the grid might be gone but you'd still be up and running this is perfect for a community solar kind of setting so people on both sides of the pond can participate in a kind of peer-to-peer -peer market here the brooklyn microgrid project a small power grid made up of houses on president street it's using blockchain, the underlying technology of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, to decentralize and share electricity. So right now we're testing our hardware in about 60 houses. So these are basically the small meter box. Our technology is using blockchain to count the electrons that are being put back onto the grid. And we collectively pool everyone's green energy source and we put it on a ledger and let everyone know in the community is guess what? This is the amount of energy that's been produced in your neighborhood. And if you want to buy energy that's local, that's green, why not buy it from your neighbors?
Technological innovation is only a useless intellectual perversion if it is not shared to achieve better common condition in a sustainable everyday life. Blockchain is the third wave of our lifetime that is a total reconstruction of behavior. Identity, assets, governance, those are going to change. <laughs>